Hello, hello, Serena. Hey, I've been waiting on you. What's going on? What's going on? I am elated to ask you 73 random questions for your September collection debut. And congratulations on Wimbledon. Thank you. How are you feeling about life right now? Life is pretty good. And in life, how many matches do you think you've played? Gosh, I don't know. Somewhere definitely over a thousand. I don't know. Which of your competitors has helped improve your game the most? Definitely Venus. If you could master any other sport, what would it be? Um, I would do ballet. Past or present, who would you love to play a match against? Althea Gibson. Past or present, who would be your dream doubles partner? Honestly, I just can't get better than Venus. Who is your tennis icon? Monica Seles. What is your strangest superstition? I don't have superstitions. Uh, what do you predict would happen if you hit someone with your serve? Okay, we would have to immediately stop everything, call 911, and like rush them to the hospital. That does not sound pleasant at <laughs> it's all. It's not. No, not good. Serena, you're on in six minutes. Oh. All right, cool. So where do you go when you need to relax? Oh, when I need to relax, I just go home. I love uh, being home. Do you have any nicknames? Everyone calls me me. Who is the funniest person you know? Aubrey. What's the best 80s power ballad to perform at karaoke? Oh, I have the tiger. All right, what song always makes you want to dance? Rihanna's work. Work, 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 work. What is your walk-on song? Flash Dance by Irene Cara. What did Beyonce think of your tribute to 7-Eleven? <laughs> she thought it was really cute. <laughs> What's one book that made a lasting impression on you? Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. If you were in a girl group, what would the group's name be? I'm coming to get ya. Who would be in this girl group? Oh, Venus, my other sister Lynn, my friend Sienna, and definitely my bestie Val. What's the most absurd rule in tennis? Ah, uh, foot fault. What's the most obscure rule in tennis? Those fines that no one really ever knows about. <laughs> what was the craziest call you've ever had called on you? Oh my gosh, I got lost a point because I yelled, come on, too loud. Oh gosh. <laughs> Serena, what's your favorite piece of clothing to wear? Uh, shoes. How convenient. Oh. Uh, can you describe your style in one word? Confident. What's one look you wore that you wish you could take back? Oh, so many, but I'm going to just own them and just wish that I continue to wear them. What's the best fashion tip you've ever received? Um, be you, wear your style, and be confident. If you could raid one woman's closet, whose would it be? Definitely Mariah Carey. She has amazing shoes. How do you define beauty? Beauty is from within. Uh, do you have a hidden talent? I can do an amazing cartwheel. I'm not going to do it now. Though. Okay. Serena, you're on in four minutes. <laughs> All right, cool. What is love? And I'm not talking about the tennis term here. Oh, love is magical. It's something that, you know, you may only experience once in life. What was the most romantic thing a guy's ever done for you? <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> What's the best pickup line you've ever heard? Oh, are you tired because you've been running in my mind oh, all day? God. When you were 13, who was your Hollywood crush? You know, I love those guys in Criss Cross. <laughs> What's the last show you binge watched? <laughs> Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, name one thing you cannot live without. Uh, God. What's one thing you're the absolute worst at? I'm terrible at basketball. What's the most nervous you've ever been? Oh, my U.S. Open final. I don't know. It was 2000-something against Caroline Wozniacki. I was, we both were so nervous. What is one bad habit you wish you can break? Um, I often sometimes bite my nails. What was your craziest fan moment? This guy in Australia comes on the court naked, runs in front of me and Venus, and he starts just grinding. <laughs> it was really weird and creepy. Um, what's one phrase you use too much? I mean... I mean, 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 stop already. What's your spirit animal? A tiger. <laughs> Can you say something in a different language? Qu'est-ce que tu veux pour moi dire? Okay. Serena, on the screen behind you is a man who wants to ask a very important question. Okay. <laughs> hey, Serena, my wife and I are having a baby boy. What should I name it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm Grant. <laughs> Grant. All right, let's have a seat. Thanks. What's one cause you care deeply about? So I have the Serena Williams Fund. It's my, it's my charity. It's amazing. We do a lot of work. Uh, how do you celebrate your wins? You know, after 12 or 13 or 14, you kind of stop. How do you deal with your losses? Not very well. Uh, how do you deal with the haters? Who listens to haters? If you could redo one match, which would it be? Um, any of them that I've lost. 
besides tennis, what's one thing that you'd like to be remembered for? My charitable works, you know, I do a lot of stuff locally, but also around the globe. Um, I've done a lot of stuff as well. Uh, if you weren't a tennis pro, what would you be doing with your life? I would be a fashion designer. How many tournaments can you name in 10 seconds? Here oh, we go. Oh, gosh, okay. Go. Um, Australian Open, French Open, Wimbledon, U.S. Open, Miami, Indian Wells, Cincinnati, um, Stanford, um, the Singapore Championships. Nine. 10, okay, heads up. <laughs> Uh, do you have any match rituals? Um, I always wash my hands before to make sure they're really nice and dry so I can grip that racket tight enough. Besides you, obviously, who is the greatest tennis player of all time? Oh my gosh, um, Steffi, uh, uh, Roger Federer, like, yeah. What skill would you steal from which opponent? Oh, right now I would definitely take Milos Raonic to serve. So Serena, I took your master class, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. What is one thing in tennis that you have not mastered? Well, I'm still a student of tennis. I'm still, every time I'm out there, I try to learn something new. All right. Can you demonstrate for me the most difficult thing, move, technique in tennis? Really? Yes, really. Um, I don't have a racket, so. I just happen to have one right here, so. Oh my gosh, all righty. Let's do this. All right. Here you go. All right, so I think it's really difficult to hit a drop shot because a lot of the players now are really fast and they get to the ball easy, and you have to have a lot of disguise on the shot. So if you're doing off the forehand, you wind up like you're going to hit a great forehand, and then mm. at the last minute you drop it and it goes barely over the net and it leaves your opponent stumbling. That is so incredible. <laughs> if the sport required a small victory dance after every match, what would you do? Gosh, you know, you can milli rock on any block. You know, you can, I'd probably do a little twerking, maybe a little body roll. So it just kind of depends. Serena, what's your favorite app? My favorite app is the Reddit app. How do you feel about this Pokemon Go craze that's sweeping America? Oh my gosh, Pokemon. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can whack this Pikachu with a tennis yes. racket? Yes. Okay, here yeah. we go. One, Get a two, good whack. Three. Ma! <laughs> uh, Serena, two minutes. <laughs> You can only eat one thing forever. What is it? Oh, you guys know I'm going to say tacos. You set me up with that one. What movie always makes you cry? The Color Purple. What movie has made you scream in terror? Um, the Blair Witch Project. What is the most inspirational sports film of all time? Definitely um, the Muhammad Ali documentary. Amazing. Who do you want to play you in the movie of your life? Olivia Griffin. Daniel Radcliffe was pretty amazing at ping pong. How are your skills at ping pong? Oh my God. I'm probably the world's worst ping pong player. Who's a random person you love to give a lesson to? Emma Stone. Okay. What's the best advice your parents ever gave you? Um, always be humble and have that humility. Uh, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done? I've actually body bowled once. Don't ask me what that is, but it's dangerous. Okay. What's one thing about you that people would be surprised to know? I'm really silly, and I can't stay focused for too long. What's one skill you wish you had, but you don't? I wish I could sing. Oh, come on, Clearly. you can. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? Superina. <laughs> okay. And, oh, we got to go. Last question. Can you throw All a right, plug one, to five, us as the first thing four, you say when you are three, going live? Two. And you are live. For more 73 questions, tune in to Vogue. All right. Thanks, Serena.